white man and white woman, man. Right, right, right. 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 Ain't nobody Bible talking to us. They have no business with our records, man. Right, right. 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 That's right. Read that. Huh. Her young children also were dashed in pieces. Dashed into pieces, read. At the top of all the streets. And they cast lots for honorable men. Read. And all her great men were bound in chains. Were what? Were bound in chains. All her great men, and it was bound in chains, man. You read about literally in the book of Ezekiel, the 17th chapter, the 19th chapter, they were taking the kings down of Israel and putting them in chains, man. You read about that, the book of Jeremiah, the 40th chapter. All of our honorable men, they came from up high, they went down low, and they've been brought into bondage, slavery, and chains. That's right. Who is the Lord speaking to? He's speaking to the Israelites. That's right. If this happened to us, who must we be to this very day if the Lord speaking to the Israelites? Who must we be? You said what? We the Israelites. That's right. Hey, brother, come on. We take on who we are back, man. Right. Then it kicked down and the force fed us all of these lies. Right? Who is this man right here? This man forced and gave us Christianity. Right? Gave us all these lies. In slavery, you understand? Right. Who is this man? This is the damn devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. Right. This is the man that whooped your understanding, your heritage out of you and gave you Christianity. What does it say, I want my people to be Christians and to love everybody in the Bible? Where is that? It ain't in there. Brother store with them wallets out there, man. You can take them $3 in there, man. They don't say that in the Bible. It ain't in there. You understand? The Lord said that we are Israelites according to the Bible. Give me Revelations 1 and 13. The book of Revelations, chapter 1, verse 13. Yeah. And in the midst of seven candlesticks. Right, read it right. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, read, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment. Now this is literally our Lord and Savior, who the world would call Jesus Christ. But his real name is Yahweh Shad, the righteous. You right. understand? That's, right. That's literally who we serve, and he would look something like this. You understand? Not this homosexual Edomite, you understand? Right. That's right. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. And I know brothers got garments on down to the foot out here, you understand? The brothers got garments on. Like our Lord said, he had a garment all the way down to the foot. Read. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. He had a golden girdle on, right? Like a man of war. You're reading about our Lord, you know? His head and his hairs were white like wool. What the Lord say? His, his head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Who has woolly hair? What nation of people? Just look around. Who got woolly head? We got woolly head. Hey. We got woolly head. The Lord looked just like this brother right here. The Lord right. looked just like this brother right here, man. The Lord looked like all these mighty kings up here, man. Hey. Right? Hey. Literally in the Bible, he looked just like us. You understand? Hey. You know? As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire. He didn't have blue eyes like the damn devil, man. Right, right. He had red eyes like a fierce man of war. You know, oh, you see somebody with red eyes, you're going kind of down. What's going on? Right. Yes, what the hell is that, man? He kind of walking out, trying to see what the hell going on. Right. Like, give me the book of Luke, right? Chapter 20, verse 40. Huh. We got we to gotta find out about our Lord. Our Lord is not a homosexual. Our Lord is a fierce man of war, you understand? Right. 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 who we serve. Bring that up. Book of Luke. Chapter 20 and verse 40. Hey, y'all, give me the words of the Lord, brothers. Give me the words of the Lord. Y'all Israelites, repent and keep the commandments. And after that, they durst not ask him any question at all. They said they durst not ask the Lord a question. They said they were scared to ask the Lord a damn question in the Bible, man. Are you scared of this man right here? Isn't this a liar and a thief and a murderer? And that gave you all of this religion? Right. We just read in the Bible what our Lord and Savior looked like. You would step on this image if it's alive. Because I damn sure gonna step on this right. Hey, right. Right. Step on it. There you go. Hey. Hey. Coming back to who we are in these last days. As the Israelites in the Bible. Read on. And it's of Revelation chapter 1, verse 15. Started again from the top at 13. At verse 13. Uh -huh. 
stand in the midst of the seven candlesticks. In the midst of the seven churches, read on. One like unto the Son of Man. One like a Mashiach, the Malachi, our shadow righteous. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. And a long garment down to the foot. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. So he wouldn't get thrust through like a man of war. His head and his hairs and were white, white like wool. wool. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Read. As, as white as snow. He had white woolly hair, read on. And his, his eyes, eyes were as a flame of fire. A flame of fire. Walking around and everybody was scared to ask him a question. He knew all things walking the earth, but everybody was scared to him. Think, I don't know, that's the Lord. I don't wanna, I don't know about that. Because the Lord was walking around like a fierce man of war, you understand? Know? You know? And his feet like a to fine brass. And his feet like a to fine brass. What color is brass? This is derivative of brown. Now who has brown skin on this earth? Right. Y'all have brown skin. Right. right. Our Look. Lord had brown skin, but it gets dark. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. What the Lord say? As, As if they burned in a furnace. So you throw something in a furnace, how dark is it going to get? It's going to get pitch black. Right. It said the Lord was so dark, it looked like he got burnt alive in a furnace, man. Right. So who would the Lord look like according to the Bible? He would look like us. That's right. right. That's right. right. Just like right. us. Right. And who are we? We the Israelites. Right. We the Israelites in the Bible. Y'all understand that? What does our Lord look like? How does that make y'all feel? That y'all can open up the Bible and it's a mirror. That our Lord and Savior, he's coming back for you. If you repent, keep the commandments. Right. That our heritage that was lost, now it was found. Right. You don't gotta damn go to Esau. You don't gotta go to his libraries, his systems, his science, right? His anthropology, all of his lies and witchcraft and potions and doctrines and philosophies, man, and oppositions. You don't gotta go to that. All you gotta do is open up the Bible and read about your heritage in the Holy Bible. Right, That's right, all you right, gotta right. do. That's right, give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. Give this, me uh, the book of Malachi chapter 2 and verse 2. Come. It's the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Bring it up. This, this for y'all. Bring that up. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. We went to Jeremiah, we went to Ezekiel, we went to Isaiah. Hey, give me the book of Esther, chapter 7, right in verse 4. Like, give me the book of Genesis, right, chapter 39, and verse number 15. We reading about who we are in the Bible, man. Right? It's all throughout the scripture. Like, right, give me the book of Acts, chapter 2, and verse 4, right? Bring it out, whoever got it. Book of Esther, chapter 7, and verse 4. Bring it out. For we are sold. I and my people. We're going through every book of the Bible, letting you know that we've been sold. We've literally been forgotten about. Right? Literally, that happened to us. We've been sold, I and my people. Read. To be destroyed. To be what? To, to be, be destroyed. destroyed. You think we came to this land for fun time? Who were we brought over here for? For captives. To build up everything that you see. Right. Everything that you see, a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American has built with their bare hands and blood. Right. That's blood, right. Sir. You walking on our ancestors' blood. All of the so-called Native American Indians have been slaughtered on this land. Right. Right? We don't want money from that. We want blood from that. That's, That's, right. Right. That's, right. That's right. right. Somebody kicked down your door, grabbed your mother, snapped your damn neck. Wouldn't you want justice? That's right. He right. gonna turn to I'm, I don't know. I guess we'll forgive. That's what this man says. All right. You wanna know what our true Lord says about vengeance in the Bible? How you gonna save the elect? Teach How you coming back for y'all if y'all repent and keep the commandments? How the kingdom of heaven gonna look like? How it's gonna be built up? How these damn nations walking like dogs off the leash? Right there, we gonna put shackles around their necks. Right. 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 That's in the Bible, bro. Right. We serve right. a fierce God, Yahweh. Right. 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 Bring out the precepts. That's right. Bring it up. 15. The book of Genesis, chapter 39, verse 15. Right. Yeah. And it came to pass when he heard that I lifted up my voice and cried that he left his garment with me. Chapter verse 20. Verse 20. And Joseph's masters took him. It said Joseph's masters, they took him away. What does it mean when a damn master, he can grab you up and snatch you? What is that happening to? We so-called had masters, you understand? It's talking about us. The masters grabbed up our forefathers and they took him, read. And put him into the prison. They put him into prison. Who's known for getting locked up in prison cell? Right. Don't have no hope. Right. Don't see the light of day. Right. I got family that's locked up. But you, all these brothers got family that's locked up. That's right. Right. We all was locked up, man. Right. But right. all these right. papers, I got a damn mattress, man, in the world. Right. Get damn locked up. You understand? That's happening to us. You know? Hey, please! 
where the king's prisoners were bound. Were what? Were, were bound. bound. Were bound. A place where the damn prisoners, they were bound up together. Who did that happen to? That happened to us. Bring that up. Whoever got it. The book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 2. Read it out. If ye will not hear. If don't nobody want to hear the words of the Lord, and you want to keep walking, you want to be a nigga, you want to think God loves everybody, you want to be delusional and drunk off of this world and just smell the air, let's go out, let's have a nice time on the town, let's go buy and spend, let's wait for the stimulus check, let's go visit Auntie Betty. If you damn get lost in this world, you don't want to hearken to you. How about some y'all say? And if ye will not lay to heart, to give glory unto my name. And we gotta give glory to the oh, Lord. Man. Every day we wake up, we gotta give glory. That's, That's not right. talking to this man. That's not talking about, thank you, Lord, for everything you've done for me. Amen. And we pray in our ancient tongue, you understand? Right. We smote upon our chest in the middle of the night. When we wake up, we gotta use the bathroom, and we pray for them 20 minutes before we go to sleep, man. We put ashes upon our heads. We love the Lord. We gotta right. seek his glory. Read. Say if you have a host. I will even send a curse the upon you. I will even send a curse upon you. The Lord said he's going to send a curse if you don't want to listen to him. Now, what do you think that curse was on a physical level? Will you look at how we live in a day? Give me the book of Psalms, chapter 105 and verse 18. How do you think we live into this very day? The Lord said he would send a curse upon us. Will you look at our people, how we live? We're at the bus stops. We get shot down. Right? We don't have no money. We broke. Right, you understand? Bring it up. The book of Psalms, chapter 105, verse 18. Check this yeah. out. Whose feet they hurt with fetters. They said whose feet they hurt with fetters. Our feet were in fetters. Why are we going through every single book of the Bible? I'm trying to drill this into y'all heads. Y'all not black. Y'all not African Americans. Y'all the Israelites. Y'all yeah. yeah. would be the Israelites whose feet they hurt with fetters of iron. He was laid in iron. He was laid in iron in the bottom of those ships. We was laid in iron. Right. We didn't have no hope. We still have getting spit upon by the next man above us. Damn women have a period, blood kind of tripping. People dying. You can damn smell the damn stink, man. People crying and praying and bowing down. And then all you hear is shut the F up down there before I kill one of you niggas, man. Right. That's what you heard. Damn the, damn the rocking on the boat. People throwing up. Right. You wishing you would die. Our ancestors jumping off the damn boat, man. Right. All that happened to us. We can't forget where we come from. The past, you understand? We can't let that go. Give me the book of Psalms, chapter 77 and verse 5. Read. Until the time that his word came. Hey, we was laid in fetters of iron until the time that his word came. Right now that word is coming to you. And that's our Lord and Savior. You were shackled in your mind of being an African American, being a Negro, right? Being a damn fool, right? All of these damn traditions of what the world is going to call you. And we was lost until that word came. Read. The word. Of the Lord tried him. What the Lord say? The, the word of the Lord tried him. Man, the word of the Lord is trying. You got some people that don't hear it, but then they'll leave. I don't know about this. Then they kind of leave, man. The word of the Lord is going to try you. Right? Wisdom is going to confront you and see if you can be tried by her laws. And this is going to enter into you. And then you would literally be, right, what the Lord has ordained from old. A princess, a king, a general, a mighty man. You breathe in a breath of life, you can get immortality. You understand? You know? The king sent and loosed him. Hey, the king is our Lord and Savior. That's he right. sent and he loosed them shackles off your mind. He loosed them shackles off your damn feet. Hey. He loosed them shackles off your arms. He loosed them shackles everywhere you go and every snare and trap in this world. Our king, he sent and he loosed us. Read. Even the ruler of the people and let him go free. What the Lord say? And let him go free. He's going to be in Babylon forever. And let him go free. He's going to be in Babylon forever. And let him go free. And the Lord said that he's going to come, he's going to loosen those shackles, and he's going to let you free. That's right. That's what the Lord said. Don't y'all right. believe that? Y'all think this man's going to rule the earth forever? Oh, 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 oh. You think this boy had a demon is going to rule the earth forever? Oh, right, you know? He made him lord of his house. He made, not only did he let you free, he made you lord over, lord over the damn house, man. Brothers literally want to be lords over all these different countries. Right. Everything that you see, man, the different states. Right. And the Lord said he's going to set his mighty men up to be lords over that. Not only did he let you free, he's going to make you lord over everything you see. Right. Just like in the ancient world, you understand? When we were kicking down doors and taking lands. You know? And ruler of all his substance. And ruler over all his substance. Everything you see in this world belongs to y'all. Y'all believe that? Y'all understand that? 
In the ancient world, we ruled everything. We sat upon thrones. We were high, we were mighty. We had understand. But that all got washed away when we sinned. We came from up here to down here. I know y'all heard the whole thing, we was once kings. Don't that what every so-called black man say? Yeah, we was kings, we kings. We kings at one point in time. Right? That ain't right, man. But they have to have the knowledge of truth of what that even means. How to trace back our lineage and who we come from. Bring that out, Kim. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 77 and verse 5. Yo. I have considered the days of old. What the Lord says. I have considered, considered the days, days of old. You gotta bethink yourself on who you are. Where do I come from? What is my name? What tribe do I come from? Who is the Lord? How do I beseech you? How do I get the kingdom of heaven? Why am I in this land? You know? The years of ancient times. No, don't just consider the years ahead of you tomorrow, the next day, last week, last month. And you got to literally consider ancient times. Where did I come from? Why am I in this land? Right, did y'all ever right. think these things before? But y'all thinking them now through the spirit. You understand? We don't. I call to remembrance my song in the night. I call to remembrance who I used to be. I don't want to know, man. Right. I'm kicking down doors. I want answers, man. Why the hell are we here, man? We got shackles on our mind and heathens reigning over us. Why we paying taxes? Right. Right? Why we can't get jobs? Right. Right? Why do all of these things happen? We want to know, you know? I commune with my own heart. I commune with my heart. You know, my heart is making diligent search to find out who the hell am I, man. Right. I've been called black too long. Been called African American for far too long, man. Right. I've been called a nigga in these streets far too long, man. Right. I've been called a gangster and a fool far too long, man. Right. I've been called a damn idiot and a damn idiot all damn too long, man. Right. 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 All these bad words they throwing on us because they want to further confuse us. This cesspool of lies in this world. America is nothing more but a big ass cup of wine being stirred constantly with different potions and different wines and you just drinking it and getting drunk. You think God loves everybody. You think church is the way. Where does it say that in the Bible to go to church? I throw my wallet out again. Where does it say that the God looks like this man? Right. Our Lord and Savior looks like this man. What if the Lord say, hey, love everybody and everybody come into your house? Right. It don't say these things. Right. We've been doctrinized oh, wow. since the time we've been born to the time that we are now. To keep us in what? Our mind state of confusion and the chains. You know? And my spirit made diligent search. Hey, why David keeps saying that over and over? Literally, my spirit, it made a diligent search. Are y'all going to today take your first foot to the Lord and make a diligent search to who you are in the Holy Bible? Or y'all gonna continue walking in sin, folly, and foolishness and be destroyed? We all love you and we know the answer through the Spirit. That's right. What are y'all gonna choose? What's that? You said what? Give me the book of um, Psalms, chapter 39. All right, verse number 8. The book of Psalms, chapter 39, verse 8. Right? Oh. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Make me not the reproach of the foolish. I was dumb. I opened not my mouth. Read. Because thou didst it. Remove thy stroke away from me. I am consumed by the blow of thine hand. Hey, the Lord said all of the things that happened upon us, and we would shut our mouth. We wouldn't even be able to open it, man. Like kids, they get hit so hard, they can't even cry out loud, man. That literally happened to us. The Lord shut our mouth and we just down prayed down into the damn dust. Now it's time to rise. Now it's time to grow again. Now it's time to come back to who we are. And what's at your foot? My foot is the Israelites. Which tribe do y'all come from? <clears throat> So-called African-Americans. We from the tribe of Judah. The top tribe. That's right. That's you right. Look at the Psalm 72 and verse one. That's the top tribe in the whole nation. Y'all right. will come right. from royalty, right? Now, how do we get the kingdom of heaven? Bring it up. The book of Psalm, chapter 72, verse 1. Right? Yeah. Give the yeah. king thy judgments, O God. 76. Yeah, 76. Psalm 76. The book of Psalm, chapter 76, and verse 1. Right? It out. In Judah is Yahweh known. Hey, the Lord said, in Judah is the Lord known, man. The most powerfulest men are going to come out of that line, you understand? And Judah is the Lord known, read. His name is great in Israel. His name is even great amongst all of Israel. That's true. That's who we are. 
we the Israelites. So how we get the kingdom of heaven? We don't want to leave tonight so y'all know how to get the kingdom of heaven. Right, so y'all right. know how to repent. So y'all know who y'all are according to the Bible. How do y'all get the kingdom of heaven? Right, we're going to show y'all. Right, give me the book of Psalms. Chapter 15 and verse 1. Right? Give me the book of Tobit. Right? Chapter uh, 13. The book of Psalms, chapter 15, verse 1. Bring it up. Yahweh, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? Hey, the Lord is asking the question. Who's going to dwell in the kingdom? Who's going to abide in his tabernacle? Read on. He that walketh uprightly. What the Lord say? He that walketh uprightly. Uprightly is by these commandments. You understand? By understanding who you are. By not being a nigga in the streets. Not going back to that old way, not old understanding. You know? And worketh righteousness. And, and worketh righteousness, which is the law and having faith. So you gotta have the law, know the law, keep the commandments, and have faith of our Lord and Savior. You know? And speaketh the truth. And in his what? Heart. And, and speaketh speak the, the truth. Now, what is the heart. truth according to the Bible? John 14 6. What's the truth, sisters? Our truth, Salaka, I apologize. Right? Who, who literally is the truth according to the Bible? Our Lord and Savior is the truth. The law is the truth. Right. I'm about to show y'all that. Bring that up. The book of John, chapter 14, verse 1. Right now. Yeah. Verse 6. Right. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I am the way. I am the way. The truth and the life. So the Lord is the way. So he's going to literally direct you in every path that you have to go through. Y'all understand that? And that path is the kingdom. Not back to that old man. Right, you know? No man cometh unto the Father. But by me. But by our Lord and Savior. So that's through grace and mercy. Now we're going to give you a couple commandments. Right? Give me uh, first Maccabees. Right? 1 and verse 16. Right? Give me the book of... Uh, the book of first Maccabees. Chapter 1. Verse 63. Verse 63. Bring it out. Wherefore, they chose... Uh, 62. Howbeit, many in Israel were fully resolved and confirmed in themselves not to eat any unclean thing. Right, so our, our forefathers, they literally was like, you know what, I'm not eating these abominable dishes. Pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, right, all these damn roaches, out of the damn sea. All of our people, they love that stuff. They love shrimp, crab, and lobster. Y'all eat shrimp, crab, and lobster? You do, what about you, brother? You eat shrimp, crab, and lobster? You eat any shrimp, crabs, or lobsters? Right, we gotta stop that. Why we royalty walking this earth? You know? Wherefore, they chose rather to die. What the Lord say? They, they chose rather to die. They chose rather to die, read. That they might not be defiled with meat. That they may not be defiled with meat. Right? So we literally have laws that we gotta keep. Our women have to dress a certain way. Our men have to dress a certain way. Right? We gotta know how to treat our brother and our sister. There's certain things we can't eat. Certain high holy days we gotta keep. Like right now, man, it's the Pentecost through this prayer. That's right. Feast of first fruits, right? You gotta understand who you are. It's a Passover. It's the feast of the memorial of going in the trumpets. It's Sabbath days. Don't just think you coming to this land, you forgot who you are, you just gotta figure it out. Right. We spit the round and then I'm giving a fifth of damn strong drink, and now we just trying to stumble around trying to figure out who we are. The Lord and his laws, they never change. Right. And to this very day, we still keep them through the Spirit. Right. 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 And that they might not profane the holy covenant. So then they died. So then they died. So they was ready to die for the laws, to inherit everlasting life, then to be stained with foolishness by oh. these other nations. You understand? Give me the book of Wisdom of Solomon. 12, right? All right, real fast. Who are you before you leave? What's your nationality before you leave? Yeah, if the Lord call us Israelites, who are y'all to this very day? There you go, you're Israelite. Right. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Supply you, brother. It's a fly, brother. Check that out. Oh, oh. Give me the book of Luke, chapter 15. Give me the book of Luke, chapter 15. Hey, brother, you got a minute to hear the words of the Lord? The book of Luke. Chapter 15, verse 3. Yeah. Well, that was lucky. Hey, sisters, y'all got a minute to the words of the Lord? Now, right, y'all Israelites, repent and keep the commandments. Right. Put some damn clothes on. Right. 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 It right. says, and he spake this parable unto them, saying, 
What man of you having a hundred sheep? If he lose one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until we find it. And hey, we shepherds according to the Lord, man. Right? We're going to seek for the sheep. We'll give a damn about the glorification of men, man. Hey, brothers want to be the elect, man. Right. 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 Jumping up and down, man. Right. Right. We want the angels to rejoice in heaven, man. That's right. right. Our blood and our sins wiped off, man. That's right. I don't give a right. damn. Hey, brother, you buddy. I don't give a damn about that, man. I want the Lord to say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Right. 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 These are the things that I want to hear. That's wrong. right. Verse 5. Read. And when he had found it. He layeth it on his shoulders rejoicing. You're doing what? Rejoicing. Like rejoicing through the spirit, man. Come. We love when our people wake up, man. We out here, we planting seeds, man. Every day, planting seeds, planting seeds, planting seeds, man. We'll give a damn about views, cameras, men, damn women. We don't care about these carnal things, man. That's right. At the end of the day, Ezekiel, he ain't had no damn camera in his face, That's man. Right. He ain't had no damn camera in his face, That's man. Right. Then you don't have no camera in his face. Right. Right. Jeremiah wasn't keeping kept, man. Right. He was right. by himself out there. Right. Right. hard, because he loved the Lord, man. Right. 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 Brothers really love the Lord. Y'all wouldn't give a damn about these carnal things, man. Right. 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 People and tell them to repent. Right. Read. And when he cometh home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep, which was lost. Read. I say unto you, that likewise joy shall be in heaven. What the Lord say? I say unto you, you that likewise joy, joy shall, shall be in heaven. heaven. Read. Over one sinner. Over one sinner, man. We lacing up our boots in the morning just to get the one sinner. Right, right. right. We quitting on our fridges and our damn clothes to get the one sinner, man. Right. We don't give a damn about talking to this damn creep, man. Right. We don't give a damn about him. Right. And all crazy to the most, you damn all broke, man. Right. Right. Okay. Over 99. It's lucky. It says. It's lucky. Okay. It says, I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in the heavens. Joy shall be in the heavens, man. You got them, they playing the Congos, they got playing the organ, they sitting up in an electric damn guitar, and they turned up in the third heaven, man. Right? Right. In the middle of the Lord, they doing the work out here, man. Right? You know? Over one sinner. Over one sinner, man. Read. That repented. Moreover, 99 just persons, which need no, rep no repentance. Right, and the Lord don't care if a brother take a three-day fast. It's not going to mean that to the Lord. If you sit there, you prophesy till your eyes bleed, your stomach hurt, you crawl out, then the next brother come up. Hey, the Lord is looking for the lost sheep to bring them home to Israel. You understand? That's right. That's right. right. Saying, brother, come home, man. Right? right? We got to love our people. Brothers got to literally evaluate every brother out here, man. Right. What spirit am I in? What am I doing this for? Why am I out here, man? And we doing this for the Lord, man. Right. Right. But the seal the hope for elect. That's, That's right. right. Give me the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 13. But well, before you get that, give me the book of Ezekiel, right? Chapter 7 and verse 6. Yo. Book of Ezekiel, chapter 